Welcome to AI Traders Live, live market analysis using artificial intelligence to find high probability trades. Here's a brief disclaimer, it's a software demonstration showing how to use artificial intelligence. Here's my contact details, I'm Richard Miller and I'll be presenting today's AI Traders Live show. We'll be focusing on the sterling, uh, GDP sterling, cross pairs. We're going to discuss sterling versus the US dollar, sterling Swiss franc, sterling yen, sterling Australian dollar, sterling CAD and sterling versus the euro. We use the Fulgent AI engine that sits on the Metastock platform. We've got four artificial intelligence trading strategies that we use, major market reversals, classic swing trades, volatility breakouts, and quick three-day moves. Now, all four of these cater for different type trading styles, whether you're a position trader or a swing trader, there's something for everyone. Now, just a quick background information. The Fulgent AI was developed by the Nirvana Systems Company, and it's developed over 25 years and metastock has been providing award-winning charting analysis software for the self-directed trader for over 30 years so we've got a very good uh, reputable artificial intelligence engine and stock market platform that we use now the tip of the iceberg explanation how the ai works the ai does 10 to the power of 200 different possible combinations of stock market indicators and relationships using genetic algorithms. That's a key artificial intelligence technology that's used, been used. Now, it takes all available uh, technical indicators with all available settings and it tests and retests and it eliminates the low profitability trades. We're only looking for highly profitable, high probability trades using the AI and we use genetic algorithms to come up with these type trading strategies. Now, the Fulgent AI engine that we're using has been trained on the euro and uh, sterling currency pair. And here are the training statistics during the testing period. So the major market reversal strategy is on average 82% accurate with an average profit per trade of 3%. The swing trade is 72% accurate with a 0.7% uh, uh, profitability, average profit per trade. Mm -hmm. So that's over thousands and thousands of trades. And it's fantastic uh, performance statistics considering you're trading currencies, which generally don't move much. Volatility breakouts, 56% uh, accurate on average with a 0.7% return. And the quick move, which is a high frequency swing trading strategy where you're in on the day after the signal out on the third and fourth day, that's 70% accurate with a 0.8% average profit per trade. So you can see these are phenomenal profit statistics considering that currencies don't really move much on a day day-to-day -day basis. If we go and test the uh, Fulgent AI against some of the other uh, technical indicators like stochastics, Bollinger Bands, MACD, CCI, Momentum and Relative Strength trading strategies, we can see the Fulgent AI engine is the only one that really generates the highest uh, average profit per trade. Uh, and you can see it's a very, very successful artificial intelligence engine as compared to some of the others. And this is over 10,000 uh, 10, uh, trading days. So you can see on a, over the long term, the AI does generate superior returns on a risk adjusted basis as compared to some of the others trading the, uh, the currency pairs. So yeah, the pairs, uh, Sterling USD, the first one up, we'll jump straight into that one. We can see we've got a swing trade on this one. There's a trailing stop here at uh, just below one spot, 340. Your upside profit targets would be these resistance zones over there. And then the next one would be these highs there. That would be the upside profit uh, target levels for the uh, swing trade on sterling. Now, if we go look at the four hour chart to see what's happening there, if there's any interesting trade setups on the four hour. Takes a couple of seconds for the AI to load. So we've got a swing trade here. You can see it narrowly got close to the trading stop loss. And uh, there's a new trading stop loss over there. Upside targets would be these old highs. To the upside, you can see lots of swing trades being generated. Now we know these are high probability swing trades on the four hour basis. And if we look at the hourly, now I haven't retrained the AI specifically to look for hourly. We'll take the daily AI engine and just force the uh, hourly trades through there and see what comes up. You can see a lot of swing trades, a couple of nice profitable swing trades on the hourly basis trading sterling USD. Next up is sterling versus the Australian dollar. You can see we had a lovely May, June, July, August rally, captured quite a lot of points on that one. Depending on the size of your uh, currency contract, that made for some fantastic profits. There's a trailing stop on a new swing trade on the daily chart. 
and then the old highs here would be your first resistance zone to get past. Let me just do the line. Yeah, there we go. I fixed the line. And then the other level would be these old highs here. Yeah, that would be the upside profit targets on the current swing trade on GDP AUD. So there's a long swing trade on it. Let's go and take a look at the four hour chart. Is there anything interesting on that level? Let's come through. Take a second or two. Yeah, we've got a swing trade on there. You can see the long stop loss right here at this level here is a swing trade on the GDP AUD on a four hour chart. Now let's take a look at the hourly. See if there's any shorter term trades on the hourly chart. Now once again we are using the daily AI. We've not retrained it to look for hourly but still there was a swing trade on that one there. And if we scroll back you can see there's quite a lot of swing trades here that you'd have scalped off a couple of points. So fantastic trades on the uh, hourly even but the daily GDP AUD nice long trade we try to trade less and make more really we're not trying to trade high frequencies that's why we're only looking at high probability uh, trade setups on currencies for example GDP AUD next up let's take a look at the next one uh, GDP CAD yeah we can see we had a couple of choppy swing trades there there was a really long term trade before that moved sideways mostly uh, let's go and take a look at this. Anything high probability trades on the four hour chart. Four hour chart loading. Takes a couple of seconds. There was a quick swing trade there. Quick swing trade there. That one got stopped out. This swing trade is still long with a trailing stop here at uh, just below one spot seven zero. Your upside profit targets would be these support levels there that were broken. So that's kind of the swing trade we're looking for. And then the upside resistance targets would be this level, yeah, that support level there. Now, you can use the AI sell signal as a short because naturally when you trade currencies, you long the one currency and you short the other one by default. Um, so you can actually reverse your trade and follow the sell signals on it as well as a short selling opportunity for a particular currency trade. Let's go and take a look at the hourly one. Uh, GDP CAD hourly, what's happening here? Swing trade, uh, there we go. Swing trade there, nice couple of points made there. Is in currently in a long swing trade, and then your upside targets would be the first level of resistance would be these highs there to the upside. So we're still long a swing trade on GDP CAD on the both the uh, four hour hourly and the daily chart. All right, next up, GDP Euro maximize that one we had quite a lot of nice trades of volatility breakout captured most of that move quick move to the downside there swing trade to the upside captured that move volatility breakout there so it does chuck off some nice signals on the uh, euro sterling sterling euro actually and now we've got the four hour chart here we've got a swing trade on the four hour we can see a very wide stop. Stops moved up there, but sometimes, you know, you don't get out on that day because the, the signal actually only comes when the bar moved. So that trade's working out beautifully. Uh, got past these, the resistance zones. So still long the, the GDP euro on a four hour basis. Fantastic trade there. Let's take a look at the hourly. Any signals on the hourly that's looking interesting. Uh, give it a time to refresh. Swing trade. To, yeah, quick move to the downside. That swing didn't work out. So the hourly one, not so good at this point in time. But once again, we did not train the AI to look for hourly signals. So we are forcing the AI to use the daily signals uh, for the hourly one. But back to the daily. That's the one we're really looking for. And we can see uh, sideways moving. Had a couple of nice swing trades, but there's a four hour swing trade on that that captured most of that move so so far so good absolutely fantastic performance using the ai trading gdp euro right next up let's take a look at next up gdp yen so we maximize that one captured this whole move november december february march rally all just one long position a fantastic move huge profits on that one but on the currency there's a new swing trade on that level there uh let's go to the four hour chart give a second or two it takes a little bit long to load the data sometimes because the AI needs to refresh 
its signals on the data. So once again, four hour fantastic swing trades on the four hour. You can see volatility breakout there, swing trade there. Uh, these stop losses, by the time you actually see them, and the currency moves higher, so tend not to always act on them. So we're still long on this swing trade and with a trailing stop run about there. So it's getting close to the old higher. So it's moving within profit target range. But this swing trade, beautiful, a beautiful couple of points on the GDP yen currency pair. Let's take a look at hourly. I will show the hourly because just to see how interesting it is to use the daily signals for the hourly. And sometimes they work. But ideally, you'd like to retrain your AI to look specifically for signals on the daily. And we've got a fantastic swing trade. Yeah, I see that one all still working out uh, uh, very nicely. So fantastic. That swing trade worked out very well on the hourly for the GDP yen. So we just go back to daily. All right. So that swing trade still working out for GDP yen with these old highs as the next key resistance target. So fantastic trade. Sterling yen, fantastic trade there. Let's go back to GDP Swiss franc is the next one. Not a nice currency to trade generally, but uh, we had a nice swing trade here. Captured December, January, March move. Then it's moved sideways, choppy trade. Did a swing trade there. New swing trade. Note how wide the stop loss is on this one. One spot, two to five. Uh, with your old high here as your first resistance zone. So that would be the first resistance zone for this particular swing trade. Looking at the four hour, let's go and take a look at four hour. Takes a second or two to load. Uh, refreshes the data. Data refresh. There's a swing trade on on the four hour chart. Very wide stop loss. So the swing trade still profitable with these old highs here as your first level of resistance on the four hour chart. Turning to the hourly, let's go and take a look there. Uh, hourly trade, GDP Swiss franc. There's a swing trade, yeah, fantastic, beautiful swing trade on there. In yet yeah, one spot two five nine is one spot two six fifty one now with a trailing stop now moved up to one spot two six zero. These old cluster of old highs here would be your resistance level, so the upside profit target would be one spot two seven three on GDP CF Swiss franc on the hourly chart. So back to daily. And let's go and take a look at the next currency pair. Uh, GDP Euro Swiss franc we've covered. AUD we've covered. Yeah, I think we've covered all six currency pairs. Looking good. Quite a lot of trades on the daily, four hour and hourly trade. And we've been lucky with the hourly trades. There are a few working out quite well, even though we're using the daily AI. And just to refresh those trading statistics, Looking at the AI engine that we're using is uh, major market reversals on average 82% profitable with an average profit per trade of 3%. The swing trade is this probability of success 72% of the time accurate profitable trades with 0.7% average profit per trade on the currency pair. Volatility breakout is on average 56% uh, accurate profitable, 0.7% average profit per trade and the quick move is 70% profitable on 0.8. And this is over more than 10,000 trades so you can see this AI has been tested and tested and tested with thousands of data points. So we simply do know we're very confident in these trading figures. If any traders wants to get their hands on having your own artificial intelligence engine, go to metastock.com slash alpha harvest three for one. We've got a fantastic buy three months for the price of one deal on at the moment. And you can try it out and see if the artificial intelligence engine fits your trading style. Metastock.com slash alpha harvest three for one. This is what the landing page looked like. We've got a three months for the price of one deal. Whether you're taking the artificial intelligence engine on a uh, end of day basis, the side or the real time, if you do high frequency intraday trading, we've got two options for the buy, uh, one, buy three months for the price of one deal on Metastock platform. And that brings us to the end of this edition of AI Traders Live. Join me next time for more artificial intelligence trading. Bye for now.